Hey, what's going on guys? It's OmniArc, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I asked you guys over on Twitter if you wanted me to make a video about this, and uh, the majority vote actually said that they did want me to talk about it, um, and I so I here I am. Let's let's talk about it. So if you guys didn't know, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare looks like it's going to be the next game of the Call of Duty franchise. It looks like it's going to be the game Infinity Ward is making coming out in 2016. I'm not going to show the leaked image because I don't want it to be, you know, I don't want this video to be taken down or, or whatever, um, but you can find the image pretty much anywhere on the internet. You can even find it on Pomage's Facebook fan page. That's where I downloaded it from. Um, it doesn't have like any watermarks like it does on other, you know, uh, websites. Um, but yeah, so basically it is a Snapchat picture of what looks like an advertisement um so i'm actually looking at the image um on my screen right now so if i'm not looking at you guys right here it's because i'm looking over here at the picture so yeah this is a, a apparently a target magazine someone snapchatted the picture um and it shows call of duty infinite warfare legacy edition uh november 4th 2016 and uh the on the top it says it also includes call of duty modern warfare remastered I feel like a lot of you guys might not have even played Call of Duty 4 in Modern Warfare, but I was one of the few people that's still in this community that uh, was introduced to Call of Duty um, around that time. You know, I, I, I think the first Call of Duty I bought was Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1. But I obviously didn't play multiplayer at all for a little while because that was on the PS2 and I didn't have, like, you know, I feel like PS2 wasn't that big of an online console. That was mainly, like, the Xbox territory. Um, but when the PS3 dropped, um, I know some of my friends got Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and I thought that was, like, the sickest shit ever. Uh, and I remember I actually got a 360 for uh, Modern Warfare, and I played that on 360. Uh, and, and the game was amazing. I, I absolutely loved it. It's, you know, like many other people my age, uh, I'm 21, so, you know, every, a lot of other people my age that are Call of Duty fans still to this day were introduced to Call of Duty through either Modern Warfare or World of War. Um, and it's just, it's such a great Call of Duty, it just, it, it, there's such fond memories of the game and just the way it feels, and I'm really, really excited to find out that they're bringing it back remastered, which I'm assuming just means, like, better, better graphics, better textures, and things like that, uh, you know, to have this game remastered on the newer generation of consoles is going to be absolutely amazing, and I, I'm so excited. As for Infinite Warfare, let me just talk about that for a brief second. The big thing that this picture reveals to me is that it doesn't look like he's wearing an exosuit or anything with boost jumping, thrusting, or anything. If you look at the picture, it is a soldier. He's kind of, you know, uh, there's like a spaceship behind him, and, you know, you just see a silhouette of a soldier. You can't see his face or anything. Um, but it looks like he's wearing maybe a bulletproof vest or something, uh, and it doesn't look like there's any exo gadgets or anything uh, attached to his body. You know, the past two Call of Duties, when we saw leaked images and the first revealed images, uh, it was very apparent, very clear that there there was a exoskeleton or a double jumping mechanism attached to the character's body. You could see it in the picture very clearly. Uh, and, and here, we actually don't see that. It doesn't look like there's anything uh, that is, you know, that could be looked like uh, a double jumping uh, thrusting mechanism. So that is super, super promising for me. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited to see that. Now, obviously, we don't know anything official about this game. We don't know... Um, we don't know what the movement's going to be like. We don't know if there's going to be double jumping or not. Uh, we're not even t entirely sure where it's going to take place. Obviously, you know, leaks have proven that or have have stated that it will be in space, outer space, spaceship battles, things along those lines. And that's probably the case. If I were to be a betting man, I'd put my money on that. Uh, but, you know, we actually don't know for sure uh, yet. But, you know, going off of this picture alone, it doesn't look like he's wearing an exosuit. Like I said, it looks to me, it just looks like you know some sort of combat vest uh to hold like ammunition or something so it doesn't look like a futuristic double jumping suit which is super super like that's awesome uh, I, i'm really really hoping that that you know is the case i'm really hoping that we don't have any extra movement in this game uh you know if the game is set in outer space and it is set on giant spaceships or something you know massive like planet-sized spaceships or whatever 
if that is the case, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be extra movement. You know, you, you can have a futuristic game where there's no extra movement. You know, there, there's no no one saying, like, you know, okay, this game's in the future. It has to have double jumping and, and space gravity and all this stuff, you know. Uh, you know, it is implied because that is, like, the future. You know, the future is going to have jetpacks and all this other shit. But, you know, it, you know, they don't actually have to do that. You know, it could just be a space setting uh, and it could still be boots on the ground. I mentioned this in a previous previous video and you know a lot of people are still getting really upset a lot of people are still jumping to conclusions saying that you know oh I'm gonna hate this game it's gonna be in space there's gonna be movement oh I hate it so much and, and like I, I see where you're coming from because it is a natural assumption uh, you know and it, that's obviously the the way that Call of Duty has been going the past two years but you really can't make that assumption yet that's not a safe assumption to make so I don't think we should do it yet until we find out exactly from an from an official video or you know or more leaked footage or something like that uh, until that happens we can't know for sure so I don't think we should be you know up in arms rioting just yet the last thing I want to want to mention is uh, jumping back to my Modern Warfare Remastered. There's there's things that I, I I have some problems with it, and the one the main problem that I'm that I'm seeing here is that if this game comes with Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, there might be a large split in the player base. You know, similar to how when the first DLC of a Call of Duty game drops the player base segments because half the people bought the DLC, half the people didn't buy the DLC, and now you have, you know, one group of people who are playing on, on all the maps, including the new ones, and then you have another group of people who are just playing on the original maps because they didn't buy the DLC. So they can't play together because they're not, you know, they, they just, because the DLC, they just, they didn't pay for it, so they can't play together. So for me, I think... Modern Warfare being remastered is a huge draw for a lot of people, and I think if it comes with the game, you know, like a download code or something that comes inserted into the game or something, I think that is a huge selling point, and a lot of people are going to buy the game just for that. A lot of veteran players, especially myself, you know, that's a huge selling point, and, and you know, I really would love to play Modern Warfare Remastered. The problem is, because it's such a highly requested game, and it's such a highly demanded remaster, if they include multiplayer with that, which another thing, we don't know, it says Modern Warfare Remastered, it could just be the campaign. They'd be kind of stupid and a lot of people would be pissed, uh, but that could be the case. So if they do include the remastered Modern Warfare with multiplayer, I think a ton of people are going to play that. And, and, you know, I think a lot of new players who have never played Modern Warfare, they're going to try it and they're going to like it, especially if they're sick of the double jumping. And a lot of the vet veteran players like myself, are gonna play it to get that nostalgic feel back and you know if it does come in you know infinite warfare if it does have double jumping and all this other stuff we're not gonna want to play with that for, for very long we'll play it for a month or two maybe tops and then people are gonna go over to modern warfare remastered and then there you go your player base is segmented you know even before the first dlc drops so you know and then that will further segment it again so that's my one concern is that if you Basically, you're releasing two Call of Duties at the same time, is what I'm trying to say, because a lot of people didn't even play Modern Warfare, the first one when it came out, you know, the, the fan base today is so much bigger than it was back then, that a lot of people, you know, missed it, especially because there's younger kids that just haven't, they weren't, you know, old enough to even play uh, Xbox or whatever back when that came out, so, you know, they're basically releasing two Call of Duties at the same time, if this is true, uh, and that's, you know, concerning for me because, like I said, some people are going to play one, some people are going to play the other, and that might make matchmaking a little bit more difficult and a little bit more, you know, pull my hair upsetting because you're getting put in, you know, worse lobbies than you normally would have if it were a regular Call of Duty game. The other thing that I want to mention too is that they could make Modern Warfare Remastered a pre-order bonus that you get as a download code the day you pre-order it. And if they do that, here's I think they would this is why I think that that's what they would do because if they did it that way, right? And pre-orders, you know, start maybe pre-orders start in late May, early June or something like that. Uh, you know, if you pre-order it in early June and they give you the download code for Modern Warfare Remastered and you go home and download it, then you'll have from June all the way until November 4th to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered 
until in Infinite Warfare comes out. And I think if they did that, then you would have all those players who are really excited about Modern Warfare Remastered, you would have all of them playing that game for months before Infinite Warfare comes out. So you still get the sale, right? You still get all those pre-orders and all those sales from people who, you know, pre-ordered it and, and are buying the game just for Modern Warfare Remastered. But you also avoid the player base segmentation because, you know, they played it for months. They've already been playing it since, you know, June, July, August, September, October, you know, and like a few days in November. So you're already talking five full months of Modern Warfare Remastered. Uh, and by that time, people might actually just start getting sick of Modern Warfare Remastered. And then, boom, Infinite Warfare comes out. There's less player base segmentation. And we all move on with our lives. The consumers are happy, they get both games, they get Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare, and Activision Infinity Ward is happy because they sold more games because they included a remastered classic. So again, I just want to say we don't know any of this to be true just yet. This does look like a very official leak, uh, but all the other things that I talked about in this video are just my opinions, some speculations, and things that I think might actually happen as we go you know, move forward with the uh, rest of this, you know, this leak, these leaked news, and uh, all this other stuff that's coming out. So you know, hopefully. Hopefully you guys actually enjoy the video and if you did you could drop a comment down below letting me know did you play Modern Warfare back in the day I'd be con I'd be you know wondering what did you play it did you play the original Modern Warfare are you excited for a remastered and what do you think you know like I said it doesn't look like this guy's wearing a double jumping suit do you want to see double jumping who knows maybe you do maybe you don't what am I doing with my hands who knows as always make sure you leave a rating I would really really appreciate it if you could drop a rating on this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one as we proceed forward with uh, Infinite Warfare, obviously you're going to see a lot more out of my channel, you know, with opinions and um, you know, speculations and discussions and things along those lines. So if you're looking forward to all of that stuff, you definitely want to drop a sub down below. I'll really appreciate it. And uh, that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching. I'm New York out. Peace.